We are joined now by Dr. Anthony Fauci, President Biden's chief medical advisor. Dr. Fauci, good morning. Always good to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So as we just mentioned, the FDA is expected to authorize a booster shot today for immunocompromised people. Will everyone need a booster shot at some point, Dr. Fauci? You know, it is likely that that will happen at some time in the future because it is it is it, it would be extremely unusual. And we're already starting to see indications in some sectors about a diminution over time. That's durability. We don't feel at this particular point that apart from the immune compromised, we don't feel we need to give boosters right now. But importantly, we are following this in real time, literally on a weekly and monthly basis. We're following cohorts of individuals, elderly, younger individuals, people in nursing homes, to determine if, in fact, the level of protection is starting to attenuate. And when it does get to a certain level, we will be prepared to give boosters to those people. But from what you just said a moment ago, it is imminent that we will be giving it to immune compromised. All right, here's a question that I've heard from a lot of people, including members of my own family. If you are eligible for a booster shot, will you need to get the same brand of vaccine you originally received? It is preferable that you go with the same brand. If you get Moderna, get Moderna. If Pfizer, Pfizer, J&J. You will be hearing instructions about that from the FDA through the CDC and the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. So there will be guidance when that time occurs. All right, let's talk about uh, pregnant people. The CDC has some new guidance based on some new data that found that there's no increased risk for people who are pregnant to get the vaccine. What do you say to people who still may be hesitant about this? They may still be worried. Well, the data are really very, very strong, Vlad. If you look at the tens and tens of thousands of pregnant women who have gotten vaccinated, there's no safety signal of concern at all. Balance that against the fact that we absolutely know that when pregnant women who are unvaccinated, when those individuals get infected with SARS-CoV-2 and get COVID-19, it is very detrimental not only to the woman herself, but to the fetus. So that's the reason why the recommendation has gone from could get vaccinated to should get vaccinated. Dr. Fauci, as a parent, the concern now, my child going back to school, and especially those under 12 who still can't get vaccinated. So I'm thinking two things. When are we going to see that approval for kids under 12? And what should we be doing with masks in school and those mandates? Well, in answer to your first question, we have been doing the studies now at the NIH, together with the pharmaceutical companies, looking at the safety and the immunogenicity or the ability of the vaccine to induce an appropriate response in the children. And we're doing that in what's called an age de-escalation way, doing 11 to 9, 9 to 6, 6 to 2, and then 6 months to 2 years. And we're getting good data on that right now. Ultimately, it will be a regulatory decision by the FDA, which will then go on to a recommendation from the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. I hope that's within a reasonable period of time this fall so that we can get those kids protected. But in the meantime, what you want to do, what we're recommending is that in the school system, you surround the children with people who are vaccinated, who are eligible to be vaccinated. And that's the reason why we want to see as many as possible of the teachers and the personnel in the school to be vaccinated. Children who are old enough and are eligible to get vaccinated should get vaccinated. And in the other situation, which you mentioned, the children who are not yet eligible, that's the reason why we want masking in the school for everyone, vaccinated or not, because we don't want to keep the children out of school. We know the deleterious effects of keeping children away from physical presence in the school, mental, social development, and things like that. So we've got to balance things. And that's the reason why we feel strongly we should be masking people to protect the children. All right, Dr. Fauci, and what we all want is to change the trajectory of the virus, the trajectory we're on right now. Dr. Anthony Fauci, thank you very much.